In their second meeting of the season, Notre Dame basketball traveling out to Waverly. Both teams currently on a win streak and both teams looking to continue their run. But tonight, only one would extend their reign. In their first meeting, the Crusaders escaping at home. Now Waverly hosting ND. Garrett Sutrick getting it started. Sutrick with the hat trick and Waverly on a 12-0 run. Now it's Hunter Bodine's turn. Same spot, same magic. Bodine with a double-double. 22 points and 13 boards for the sophomore. But Darius Garvin came to play the senior hungry. McBuckets on that one and Garvin going off with a career high 35. But Waverly cherry picking as Matt McFarland sneaks behind Notre Dame. The Wolverines evening the series and defending their home court 64-54. More in the IAC, the Panda Bear in the house tonight. Watkins Glen, the guys hosting Newark Valley first quarter. Blake Novi from the corner, and it's three-point time. The Cardinals, they were hanging tough early on, but here come the Senecas. Off the miss, it's Matt Estes. Get it done on the second effort, no problem. 9-7, Watkins Glen. Then it would be bombs away with Joe Palumbo from downtown. Nothing but net. And Keith Rex is adding on as he puts another basket home for the Senecas and Watkins Glen still undefeated 63-27. Speaking of undefeated, Newfield staying just that. The Trojans crush Spencer Bennett in 60-26. The streak has ended. Horseheads girls basketball might have lost on Friday night, but here's the silver lining. Big Blue now refocused and ready to get back to their winning ways. Horseheads welcoming in Vestal second quarter. Alex Evans coming up big for the Golden Bears right place right time for Evans. But the Lady Raiders speeding down the court. Amanda Sheepin right in your living room for the layup. Then Sheepin would be showing off her range as she steps out for the two ball. It would be good. She had 15 points on the night. And Rachel Sturmer says, I can shoot the trifecta. Her three is good. And Horseheads wins again. They dominate 63-31. Marlia Nolan scored a game-high 20 for HHS. More in girls basketball. Corning making the trip to Elmira. The Hawks coming off a thriller against Ithaca. And Olivia LeBaron coming off the seal here. LeBaron going coast to coast. Corning up 29-15. But Elmira staging a comeback. And it's led by her. Zaria Thomas. Misses at first, Thomas grabbing her own board, and Elmira wasn't done. Thomas now from the right side, just muddy. Elmira down five, but Jillian McGannon, a cannon here from behind the arc. This one coming down to the final second. The Corning escaped 53-52. And other scores, the Waverly girls facing off against Notre Dame. The Wolverines now with 11 wins as Notre Dame falls 46-34. Ice cold. And nope, I'm not talking about the weather up in Syracuse. In the Orange's first ACC loss of the season on Saturday, outside East Trevor Cooney scored just five points. And with a treacherous conference schedule ahead tonight, it was time for Trevor and the Orange to get their groove back. Syracuse also looking to get back in the win column hosting Boston College. First half, it was a good one. Trevor Cooney rips off the tray. Syracuse builds an 18-point lead at halftime. To the second we go, more of the same. Michael Benege, six straight games in double figures. He finishes with 17. And later, it's Tyler Roberson. Boom, goes the dynamite. Syracuse up 14. BC gets to within six, but the Orange pull out the win. Syracuse takes it 69-61. To Division Three, Elmira College out at Nazareth. And both Soar Eagles teams struggling on the women's. They slide against Naz 62-41, while the men also coming out with a loss. 